China because mm -hmm. that's also her area as mm -hmm. well, what the role media has played in feeding the negativity and how maybe the same platform can then be used to change and tell a different story. Mm. Um, there's this artist, um, she's Latina, she's called Amara. I love her. Mm. She has gorgeous dark skin. Mm. And the society shunned her. Like, they told her, you're not Latina. Mm. Latinas are light skin. And it really, she struggled a lot because she's an artist. And for the media industry then, embracing her, embracing her, her talent and her, her arts was harder because she was dark skin. So a lot of what she was doing was shun out because she was not the complexion. Um, the J-Lo's and the likes needed to be because J-Lo is light skin. She's Latina. She blew, like, it was crazy. Mm. Now, for Amara, it was the complete opposite. And then just all of a sudden, again, another media uh, person noticed her, and it went crazy, and she was everywhere. She was on billboards, she was on talk shows, talking about how her, her skin now, um, it really, it messed up her childhood, so to speak. And it doesn't help if you're trying to, like she said, put yourself out there and then you don't get um, recognition. Mm. I don't know if that's mm. what I should call mm. it, because of your skin tone. Yeah. So right now, all her music videos, all her songs and everything, they're everywhere. They're being played everywhere. She recently got a role to play in a movie, again, because of her skin tone. So what are we saying? Are we mm. in the media industry? What are we trying to say? Because we have the bit where we're not supporting them. Then we have the bit where we're trying to now bring out this um, notion that my black is beautiful. But do you yeah, believe that mixed. your black is beautiful? Mm. And that's the question so, we need to be asking ourselves. Mm. Exactly. And mm. I used to have a huge issue with uh, makeup products. Um, mm. I will not mention names because for the longest time, they would come to Africa and advertise their foundations and everything, but you would never get anything that was close enough to your complexion. But Polly, right. I like what you said because it's so, it's pure honesty. Let's be honest. It's yeah. not until the other day when um, Rihanna decided to do an entire collection exactly. on dark skin women. Yeah. Let's let's yeah. call it what mm. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Even beauty products were specifically made for um, women of lighter skin yes. tone. Mm. Yes. And, that's the that's what we need to be doing yeah. right and and let me loop in diane into the conversation a little bit she said i love the, the fact that she gave an example of someone who is in in the industry yes. but even here on the african continent we need to start having a, a raw honest conversation with ourselves mm -hmm. let's look at our music videos our swahili mm -hmm. music videos mm -hmm. they're all either light-skinned yeah. women yeah. or white women yeah. why yeah. aren't our black women also in those music videos D. Um, you know, I think there's so much conditioning um, from our pop culture. Like the people who are artists now, what did they grow up watching? What do they aspire to? So there's this whole saying for, oh, when a guy becomes successful, who, what kind of girl is he going <laughs> to exactly. go for? It's exactly. the mixed race, light skin. Yeah. So when you watch music videos, these are the women you see, and you're like, oh, that's what's sexy. That's what's hot. That's what's beautiful. Yeah, so mm. yeah, like you never see a girl with an afro <laughs> and dark skin. <laughs> In fact, the other day, uh, Michael B. Jordan had a yacht party, and this is the star of Black Panther. Mm. And so his yacht party was full of white women and like mixed race and people are like, but Wakanda, oh. like Wakanda, what happened? What happened? Where are all the black women? Yeah. And so I think it's really a conditioning thing. Mm -hmm. So even our men, especially, and it's mostly uh, male musicians because th those are the ones with the video vixens. Um, I feel like they saw that, okay, that's what's beautiful because mm -hmm. that's what they were presented with. So it's rather unfortunate, and I like what she was saying, how you want more variety. There's mm -hmm. more, there's more uh, varieties of beauty in the world. Why do we only focus on one? It's a buffet. Yeah, there's it's, a buffet. There's yeah. so much beauty. And so uh, personally, as an artist growing up in Africa, the people I looked up to as musicians, if I think of all of them, they're all either white or mm -hmm. light skin or mixed race. So I was like, oh man, can I really be an artist if I'm not like 
you know, 0.5, because mm -hmm. that's what looked like will give you success. Diana, what do you think is the role that men have to play in sort of breaking this stereotype and, and uh, having a better attitude towards colorism? I'm so proud of the men who use dark skin chocolate women, like when Saudi Soul released Melanie, and I was like, yes, this need, we need more of this because when we do not need men to celebrate us, but if they have the platform, why not celebrate your women, celebrate your sisters, celebrate the beauty of the women on your continent? It will only add value to us as a people, add value to you, because now all the melanin women are like, yes, mm. you see me, you see me, and you see my beauty. So they definitely have a role, but I, I do not want to put that power in the hands of men. I will not wait for uh -huh. the men to celebrate us. Even us as female musicians, we have to celebrate ourselves, celebrate our melanin, be in all our our gloriousness and show that example so yeah men please catch up but also us as female artists we have a role to play Joanne what sort of feedback are you receiving ever since you started doing mm. this project and having this conversation what yeah. feedback are you getting that's so interesting because it's been so overwhelming in terms of I didn't I mean I wanted it to to start conversations because that's what my platform platform is all about but I didn't think that I would get feedback from one men on the DM, not publicly, but they'll be on the DM. And I didn't realize that bleaching is actually a thing for men. It's not as full blown, blown as women, but it's there. I've also gotten feedback from parents, parents who are saying that they're raising dark skinned girls, for instance, mm -hmm. and that the bullying that they get through in school. This is a, a child who's nine, 10. And one particular story really, really hit me because um, the parents said how what then her daughter does, because she feels like she doesn't have the light skin privilege, is she's, been, she's gotten part of a clique. So, so the clique has light skin girls. And so the idea is because I'm not beautiful by myself, let me coalesce with this other beauty so that I, we can all get the attention. And that's really troubling for her as a parent. And, and so there's a parental side of you. There's, there's people just saying, this is a condition we, we must have. And let me chime in with, on something that Diana talked about, Please. about conditioning. Right. And for me, I have a theory. So let me just say what my theory is. My theory is, I feel like we still have colonial remnants. You know the thing that Bob Marley said about emancipation Buzz. of mental slavery? Yes. It begins with the mind. Yes. You see, when the white man came, I feel like in many ways the white man is still with us in different ways. When the white man came, um, and it's so funny because, so, so my husband is light-skinned, mm -hmm. lighter than me. Mm -hmm. And so we joked the other day and said that if we were slaves during the slavery period, I would be a field slave because they would segregate people based on complexion. You know, the white man thrived on divide and conquer tactics. You know, if you guys are together, you'll have Wakanda forever moments and the white man did not want that. And so the dark skinned slaves were field slaves. And so people who look like me would get this, the hard jobs. You're out in the sun, you know, 12 years a slave kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Then the light skinned slaves were house slaves. They were given less strenuous tasks. They were deemed to be cleaner, wiser, better than the dark-skinned slaves. And so in essence, he would be a house slave and I would be a field slave. That's a joke in the house. But it's, it's sad if you think about it. It's really sad because that's where it actually began. And when the white men um, began having relations with black women, yes. then they got mulattoes or yes. point fives. Yes. Now these were the favored lot. And so you see what they did slowly and slowly was show you who's in the field that you're no good and you who's in the house that you're better. And so that then perpetuated the light skin privilege where you, doors can open for you. I've had people who, a light skinned woman who told me last week that doors open for her because she's yellow, yellow. So there is such a thing as light skin. As a matter of fact, in Nigeria, your marriageability soars when you, when, if you're light skinned. Apparently, Nigerian mothers tell their sons, if you go abroad, come back with your degree and a yellow woman, and we will celebrate you. And that's from an African mother? Yes, who's probably as dark as me. 
So it's I have, a I'm lot taking of, that in. A lot I'm just of, taking that in. A lot of a lot <laughs> of conditioning. A lot of conditioning has gone through that, and that's why we have you know terms like rangi athau. I recently put up a video, and people didn't even know where it came from. So a thousand bob note is the highest Kenya's denomination, and so if you're called rangi athau, it means you're closest to that. So we made a joke when we were recording, and we we're like, I'd probably be two hundred, maybe my yonder would be eight <laughs> hundred. And Polly would be 500 if Rangi Athao or Thao is the epitome of beauty. My gosh. All right. Um, let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, the ladies get personal and they share their own story. We'll be right back with them.